Barnhart Pavilion, a building still standing at Lakefront, was established in 1920. The owners were William Harold, born April 21, 1883, and Viola Rebecca Barnhart, born September 8, 1880. William and Viola met at a skating rink in 1906, the same year William moved from Brockville to work at the McLaughlin Carriage Factory. Two years later, they were married. In 1909, William moved to Detroit to work as a varnish rubber, making $20 a week. In that same year, his and Viola's first child was born, a daughter named Joyce. By 1910, they had a second daughter, Lillian. The Barnharts saved their money in hopes of purchasing a lot on a small street. Three years later, William began to develop rheumatism in his arms. Tired of his job, he and his wife sold their house and bought a candy store in downtown Oshawa. William and his father built a family house in 1917. When their candy store lease expired, they purchased lakefront property in 1920. The property consisted of a dance hall, 16 rooms for campers, boats, and 20 cottages. Mr. M. C. Mallory, the previous owner of the property, hosted dances, concerts, games, and other short activities for the public. Mr. Mallory decided to sell his pavilion and cottages on October 1, 1891, after several young men secretly hosted a bachelor party in one of the cottages. Mr. Mallory was extremely appalled by this incident, and as a result of this disgraceful treatment, he closed his pavilion off to the general public and decided to sell his business. Wheeling down to Barnhart's for scent candy and a ride on the ocean wave, on the second floor of the pavilion was a row of apartments with a balcony facing the lake. These apartments always seemed to be inhabited by racy young men, and to us kids, it was a place of mystery and intrigue. Barnhart's became a popular hangout for many citizens of Oshawa. They were well known for their ice cream parlor and snack bar. The Barnhart's also held dances in their pavilion and rented out four apartments and cottages. The Barnhart's resided in one of the cottages. Miss Helen Hill recalls Mr. Barnhart taking people for a ride on his yacht. During the 1930s depression, their business was still alive. They held dance squares in their pavilion, and by 1943, they finished paying for their lakefront property. Eight years later, William suffered a severe heart attack while shoveling ice from their sidewalk. He caught a serious illness which contributed to his death in October of 54. His youngest daughter passed away due to illness four years later. Miss Barnhart sold the cottages and one acre of land ten years later to the city. And in 1975, Viola passed away. Despite the pavilion and cottages being taken down, memories of Barnhart's are still remembered. Multiple elders of Oshawa can still recall the dances, ice cream, and boat rides they experienced during their days of youth. Barnhart's was a favorite hangout during my teens. Believe it or not, I can still recall some of the songs slash records that we played on the jukebox. It cost 10 cents for one song, or 25 cents for three songs. I still remember the excitement of watching their record churn and the selected record drop down the play. A lot of the people who rented these cottages made them their homes year-round, and they were part of the community that lived along the lakefront. Many of my memories are of the people and places that were situated in this location. It was almost a little city of its own.